got back from a bicycle ride this morning and it is so beautiful outside. I, I just had to take some time just to enjoy the weather and to enjoy moments on my bicycle. It's very therapeutic for me. And so I did about 55 miles by the lake shore and it's just about the right temperature. The breeze is a little stiff at times, but overall just a, a gorgeous ride. Took some time just to stare at the water and, and the sky. And like I said, just, just so cathartic in many ways for me. But when I go for a bicycle ride, it is not always comfortable. I like to push myself. And there are times where I can feel the lactic acid build up in my legs and my legs are aching and they're screaming at me to take a little bit of a break. But it's important for me that I get to those moments because that is how I know that I am building strength. It's how I know that I am going to be in better shape. If I always took a comfortable ride, I probably wouldn't get in the shape that I want to be for the summer for bigger rides that I want to take. This got me thinking about suffering. Now, none of us choose to just go through a really hard time in our life. If you chose that, uh, we would think that you were not right in the head. Uh, suffering is hard. Suffering is emotionally difficult for us. But one of the things that the Bible teaches us is that hard times and suffering is redeemable. No matter how that suffering comes on you, whether it's choices that you make or choices that somebody else makes that impact you, or just living in the brokenness of the world, God promises to us that that suffering can be redeemed. So your suffering is never, ever pointless. When the Bible says in Romans 8, 28, that all things work together for good to them that love him, to them that are called according to his purpose, that is what he is reminding us of, that your suffering is never pointless. And so if you're going through a hard time right now in your life, and that could mean just about anything, couldn't it? Maybe it's financial trouble. Maybe it's relationship issues. Maybe it's job struggles or just an overall feeling of depression. Whatever that is for you, understand that your suffering is not pointless. God wants to redeem that suffering for his glory and for your good. So at the end of it, you end up stronger because of it and have a better, stronger testimony for him so that he gets all the glory. Hey, this has been your One Thing for June 20th.